So let's say this time that we want to know how many different draws would contain only red marbles. So remember there's eight total marbles and that three are red and that five are white and out of these eight marbles we're still choosing three at random. So once again this is a combination problem because the draw would be a group of the marbles and with, without regard to order. And so in part A we, dis, we determine how many different possible draws there are which is 56. Now we want to know out of those 56 how many would give us three red. So our draw would look like just three red marbles. So let's go ahead and define N and R. So N in this case is, N is the number of red marbles we can choose from. And in this case, there's only three red marbles that are in the bag, so N is equal to three. And R is the number of red marbles that are drawn at a time. Once again, three are, three are randomly chosen, but we want all three of those to be red marbles. So R is also going to equal Three. So plugging that into our combination equation, n factorial divided by n minus r factorial r factorial, n is equal to 3 factorial, 3 minus 3 factorial r factorial. Oops, r is equal to 3. This simplifies out the 3 factorial over 0 factorial times 3 factorial, and uh, we can figure out that that's equal to 1. So out of the 56 possible draws, only one draw would contain 3 red marbles.